Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by to see what I have going on today. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. I appreciate you all so very much. On this channel, I love to do all things DIY and crafting. I love to do them on a budget. However, I do love to splurge at times, but no matter what I'm doing at the end of the day, I love to have fun while crafting. If that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Just know that those comments are only desired and not required just because I absolutely love to chat with you guys after each video. You guys keep me smiling. My heart Everything is just smiling when you guys leave me a comment. And also, if you like the content, remember to hit the like button and that notification bell as well, just so you know every time I upload a video. And it also helps YouTube to recognize my channel just a bit more. And everything I've asked of you guys is completely free. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into our first project. So a couple of you guys asked me a couple of videos back when I did an upcycle to a washboard that I got from the, um, thrift store and so I as promised I know I well this is technically the last week of August the beginning I said the beginning of the last week <laughs> but it's the end so nonetheless as promised we are going to make a washboard today so we're going to use all Dollar Tree items with the exception for um, the smaller pieces um, these pieces here that I'm showing you these are some they're like wood dowels but they're like half cut and at 32 inches I cut them down to size according to what I needed for this project I did order them from woodpeckerscrafts.com I am an affiliate with them um, if you've never gone to their website I would encourage you to check it out their wood pieces are awesome and very affordable and they have some really nice items um, so just to put that out there, I do have their link in my description box below and there are certain discounts that go along with that if you choose to purchase from them according to their guidelines. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking two of the 18 inch, I believe these were the 18 inch um, wood, wood pieces from Dollar Tree. And I was also showing you guys that you can also do this using the five gallon paint stir sticks from one of your home goods stores or home improvement store. <laughs> home improvement stores um, you could just cut off the top part of that the handle part and it would literally be the same size as these just maybe a smidge thinner so <clears throat> right here what you see I'm doing I'm taking this galvanized um, I don't know if it's a plank or a sign uh, from Dollar Tree and I'm just going in with some burnt umber and I'm just giving it a real heavy distressing like I'm just trying to make it look super super dirty <laughs> And then what I also did uh, on the wood was I used some of the Americana stain in oak. It's the gel stain. Like I told you guys on the last video, they got me. I'm sold. I love it. But I did have to go to, back to my old faithful, <laughs> burnt umber. And even though burnt umber is not a stain, let me clarify that because I don't think I clarified that in the last video. It is a paint and I, use, I choose to use it as a stain in most of my projects when I'm doing some type of distressing. <clears throat> And what you see here, like I said, I'm just going in heavy, like just smearing it. I was going side to side, dabbing, <laughs> and just all over the place with it until I got it to a consistency that I liked. Now I'm going in with some of the dark copper. I believe that is by, oh, I can't remember who it's by, but it's a dark cop copper color and that's just giving it that rust look. Um, you can also accomplish this by using cinnamon, other colors similar to copper. This is just the one that was closest to me, and so I just work with what I had. And that's all you see I'm doing here. And then once I get that um, to my liking, I'm going to start assembling. And so what you see here, I'm going in with my heavier duty adhesive to the back of this um, galvanized sign. And that's just what we're going to call it. We're going to call it galvanized sign because I don't know if it's a plank, a sign, or what. Plank might have to be wood, right? I don't know. Y'all just see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did, oh, and the top part of this, I used two of the six inch wood planks. Those are actually wood planks <laughs> from Dollar Tree. It comes six in a pack, I believe. And so I just went with the one that had most of the wood glue. Now I had prepped this for another project that I didn't use. So I just pulled it out because I had two of them on hand. And I'm just going in with the one that has the most glue. I'm putting that on the back. And what you see I'm doing there is adding in another half, a piece of that half wood dowel 
wood dowel um, just to keep the uh, the project level. So when I adhered it together, it had um, it was a little wobbly. So by adding that piece in there, it made it more stable. And what I'm doing here is I'm just sizing these out. Really, I'm not even size. Excuse me. <laughs> not even really sizing them out. I am just lining them up to make sure um, they're in a the same space so when I put the two longer sticks on there it'll be even and of course I could have like you know measured it out but like that would be right if when do we do things right on this channel <laughs> never <laughs> so nonetheless I made it work it was even like you know so I was like okay man you know you're doing you girl you're doing the main measurements May measurements May bows you know this is May's world so as you can see, I'm going in with some more adhe um, adhesive, which is my Gorilla Glue I'm using there. And guys, it's already come into form. I like really like this. I love the stain. Like I was just, uh, I was so, <laughs> I edited out a lot of that because I literally, I think I looked at that for probably like three to five minutes just looking at the stain, guys. I'm not even kidding. And so what I'm doing here is just making sure it's nice and tight because there were some gaps and that was just, you know, something that was unavoidable. It was going to happen. So I'm just going in and adding in a little bit more um, hot glue, just, you know, just for some security there. But this thing was so tight, like it, it fell, like I drop a lot of my projects, you know, and it held up. And you know, that's kind of like, I guess my unwritten test rule, I don't know, <laughs> but it's, it, it's, it's standing good. And so next I'm topping off um, the board with another piece of that half wood dowel. I don't know. I got to look and see what it's called. But, um, and I'm putting that right up over the top. At first, I was going to lay it flat on top of it, but it, it left a gap. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put it on top and leave it with a little bit of a lip hanging over. Because, you guys, I am going to show you both side by side so you can see how close we got to this. Okay, so at this point, I was loving it. I was like, it, it's a, you can do anything with it at this point. So I'm just going to take some of the Dollar Tree rub-ons. Oh, I jumped ahead. I'm going in and doing some distressing because the original one that I did, it was already distressed. I just kind of wiped it down, add a little bit more to it. And I wanted to give that same look here just because this oak was this stain, oak stain, sorry guys was just so beautiful like I'm like oh it just needs a little bit of white distressing it needs it it needs it <laughs> so I went in and I'm that's all I'm doing here and so next you'll see where I'm just going to take some of the Dollar Tree rub-ons and add them on it's I did the one that said farmhouse it had the little leaves leaves underneath it and then I took off of another set of stickers um, that said wash and dry and so I'll let you guys just watch that and then we'll move on. All right, guys, so I was loving that already, right? It is too cute. Oh, my God. So once we got that done, I have these um, fall flowers. It's like leaves and flowers I had got from Michael's in the um, school section. It was, I want to say, like 24 pieces, I think, for like 99 cents. And so what I decided to do here was cut that white off of it that was surrounding it. Because I was on the fence with that. I was like, ah, it kind of looks cute, 
but I don't think I want it. So I went back and forth. I ended up cutting it down and I liked it better without the white. But you guys can let me know should I have left the white around it. But I honestly love this. I think it made it feel more like fall. And I chose to use these because I'm just going to use it with some hot glue. I'm not going to put any of my um, heavier duty adhesive on here because if I want to switch this out come Christmas I could just snap that off and put a Christmas tree or whatever I want to add here but the options are endless and the back looks nice too it's you know you can use it but there is some um, you know where we have to kind of put things together that's really visible back there but if you choose to recreate this look at it let me know how you feel about it would you make it a dual-sided washboard like the original was <laughs> so next one of my um lovely subscribers share with me and like i tell you guys i appreciate honest feedback like that's what's going to help my channel grow that's what's going to help me bring good content to you guys giving you what you want to see now i know i can't appease everybody but i will definitely try to put some things together to entertain you to make your eyes smile to make your heart happy and make you want to come back and hang out with me each week so one of my lovely subscribers shared that she did not care for pumpkins, which I love pumpkins. But again, you know, this is an open platform for us to share love and grow together. So she, I did ask her, what does she like about fall? And she said like fall leaves and things like that. So that made me put my thinking hat on because I haven't really done anything with fall you know, well, that's a lie. I have done florals, the, the arrangements. I was going to say I haven't done anything with the fall leaves, but I have, well, let me just take that off the table because that's going to be a whole lie. So, <laughs> and we're not about lying here. All right. So she had mentioned topiary. That's where I'm going with this. She mentioned topiary and I had not done one of those. I don't think I've ever done a topiary to be completely honest with you guys. And, but I do have, last year I purchased a maple tree love it and it lights up gorgeous so I was like well I don't want to do a maple tree but I'll do a play on a maple tree so I have these maple leaves that I got from Walmart and all I'm doing is taking some of the string lights from Dollar Tree and feeding them in there and I'm sorry it's going back and forth back and forth because I was just trying to move it around to where I could get it even across so you're not just having lights focused on one side of the bush once I get that to my liking, I just go ahead and push it in here. And what I use here for the base is one of the little trinket boxes that pull. It has a drawer pull to it. Um, and then the floral foam that's already pre-cut. So I use that. I stuff some paper towels on the side of it because you're not going to see that. And I just stuff that in the middle to stabilize it. No glue needed. And I push the, the stem all the way to the bottom. And I kept the stem as it is because it looks very realistic in my eyes. But again, you're not really going to see that. So I didn't want to make it thicker if you're not going to see it. So next I'm taking some more cloth that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is gorgeous. Like I was just looking at this. I'm like, this is so gorgeous. I love this color. This pattern is just fall on top of fall on top of just fall it's fall it's fall y'all <laughs> and so here I am I'm just making both sides look the same because one side was already kind of like um it's not shredded but fuzzy not fuzzy I can't think of the word but you know what I'm saying like it already had its little frills and fluffs on the other side so I was making the other side match that side yeah that's what I did so now I'm just bunching it up all together and I'm just going to tie a piece of macrame rope around this and add some beads to it, guys. And that's it. So I'm just going to let you guys watch now. I know it is out of frame. I do come back. I just needed to stand it up to make sure it wasn't like leaning to the side or anything. It's not a top heavy piece, but I wanted to make sure it was centered properly and I could get the little, you know, fluff out at the top underneath. That was my whole goal with this. So you guys got to let me know what you think, okay?
and that's it for that one guys isn't that pretty i just love those beads like it was just like the perfect match like they were meant to be together i absolutely love this and i can't wait for you guys to see all of these at the final reveal i just love this so so cute all right so our final project of today this is my favorite i think of all um just because this was something i've wanted to do and i've never done before we are gonna make a scarecrow and baby girl <laughs> He's going to be three feet tall. Did you hear me that? Yes, honey. On my little itty bitty table. <laughs> so, you know, pre-warning, okay? I, it's going to be, you know, you're going to just see sections of him here and there. In the final reveal, you are going to get to see him all well put together. So use your imagination, guys, as I go through this and just... Keep one part in your mind as you move on to the next. And by the time we get to the end, you'll have it all in your brain, what he's going to look like. And he's going to look so cute. Oh, my God. Even though he started looking like Hulk Hogan at one point, y'all. <laughs> I overstuffed him. But I made it work. Oh, I fell out laughing because I was like, oh, he looked like a WWE wrestler. My poor little scarecrow. All right, so all I'm doing, as you guys can see, I'm just cutting off the, um, the, um, like the, oh my gosh, why can't I remember anything today? So I just cut off the bottom of the pants, the, the end of the sleeves, and then I just start cutting them in like little strips to make them look raggedy. So when I tie them off, It'll make sense and you guys will see that. So here I'm taking a piece of drop cloth and I went for the drop cloth because it has the plastic backing on it. And I picked this up at Home Depot. I wanna say it was like five or six bucks or something like that. And I'm taking one of the smaller wood rounds from Dollar Tree and I'm doing a circle to create the um, the scarecrow, scarecrow ah, scarecrow's face. <laughs> and I'm free handing it here. Now I do have a, um, a reference over to the side that I had drew out just so I could keep it in my mind like it's it's you know and y'all let's see what I use to do that because I crack myself up I'm like really you couldn't just grab a piece of paper made but anyway that was my reference out to the side because I wanted I had an idea of how I wanted his eyes to look and all this other stuff so that's all I'm doing is tracing this out with pencil and then I'm gonna go over it with a sharpie and you guys will see how it comes along and it looks so stinking cute y'all oh my gosh i love this scarecrow i was so happy that i executed this you know i'm telling you guys like when it comes to crafting and when you have certain things in your mind and you pray that they come out right but we all know we have those ones that don't come out right and we kind of just toss those to the side and be like okay that's a do-over at another time and a lot of times we don't go back but the scarecrow is something I've been wanting to do for a couple of years but because I'm not artistic as far as like drawing you know freehanding drawing and all that kind of stuff and painting I hesitated now I had before this I went to my Cricut design space I did a scarecrow a scarecrow I don't know why I keep saying scarecrow <laughs> scarecrow face and I was going to print that out. And I'm like, but that's not what I want. I want this to look handwritten. I want it to look very scarecrowish. You know, I want it to look like the real deal holy feel. So, <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to just do it. And I sat down one night and I kept playing around with it until I got to a place where I was comfortable and I knew it was something that I could do over. And so this is where we are. So you guys got to let me know how did I do uh, my first scarecrow face. My first scarecrow anything, really. I'm so happy about this project, y'all. Like, I just love it so much. Oh, my gosh. And as you can see there, I went in with the stitching, added in that red for his nose. I was thinking I should have did orange, but I kind of like the red. So now I'm just gluing it to the wood round. And the rest is pretty self-explanatory from here. I do go in once. I don't put the glue all the way around. Once I do that, I go in and I start adding in paper towels. I was gonna use newspaper here, but you could see through the drop cloth and I didn't want that. So that's why I opted to go with my paper towels. Now these are paper towels that I've had on hand, like, you know, if I use them to wipe up something or, you know, just wipe away a little bit paint, but they don't get completely dirty. I'll just save those because then I could put my paint brushes and stuff on. So that's why I went with those. 
and yeah and so once I do that I seal him up I tape his little head off and I'll let you guys watch from here All right, once I get that done, we're gonna take this little dessert foam plate I got in a pack from Dollar Tree. It was like the perfect size for this. I'm gonna paint it in some of the hazelnut paint from Waverly. And I wanted this color because I wanted to get a, give it a little contrast, but not make it too, too, too noticeable from the front. But I, I don't know why I decided to use this, but this was also my template for me practicing his face on <laughs> so I give that a good coverage and um, I actually take away some of the paint and you really only need like one ish coat here and it stayed very well I didn't have to cover it with any Mod Podge I don't know if time you know goes ahead if I will see there go the face y'all <laughs> that's gonna be his hat but um yeah, it didn't, it didn't chip or anything. It stayed on very well. So all I'm doing is taking that piece. I turned the, that piece into a hat for him, which after looking at this, I think it was maybe a little bit too small, but you guys can let me know. I'm gonna wrap this the same way I did the face, and then I'm just gonna cover it up with a patch. Again, I wasn't too worried about this being all neat and perfect and everything, because you gotta remember with the scarecrows, like, you know they're all about the ruggedness you know they got patches here and there so i wanted to really stay true to that and i absolutely love the way this came out so just keep watching and then um, we'll just chit chat in a few more seconds So once I got the hat done, guys, I thought this was so darling with that little sunflower. We're going to go ahead and add the face to the foam plate. And I'm just going in with the hot glue. I don't think I used any heavy, my um, stronger adhesive here. I think I strictly went with the hot glue just because um, I didn't want the plate to start melting, which it did in some places, but it held up pretty nice. Once it got hard, like the, the hot glue got hard, it was good to go. So there is our little scarecrow, scarecrow face, isn't it cute? So now we're going to assembly him, assemble, assembly, Lord. Now we're going to assemble him. <laughs> I'm using another one of those 18 inch wood planks from Dollar Tree or wood sticks for his arms and I'm going to use the five gallon paint stir sticks on this one I'm going to use two so they're 21 inches and they're I I go a little less than half and that's what's going to make him up to three feet I didn't measure side by side because when I put it put it together I had to um insert it first and then do it from there and stand it up to see how long I want it it. I hope that makes sense because I don't think I captured that on camera. If I did, it may be a little out of focus, but that's what I'm end up doing. So you will have to cut out the crotch of the pants and um, feed it through. And I do go back and kind of glue it up a little bit to close it up so it's not so like just, you know, there in your face. Um, and then also, I don't think I told you guys the size. So, and I just went with whatever I could find. And I have to tell you, they did not have any like baby clothes there. And I just happened to walk to the end cap and there was one, these, the, the pants with the overalls. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is perfect. I don't have to make overalls. And they were a size 12 months and the shirt is a size 5T. And the shirt I was concerned was gonna be too big, but I made it work. After I got through stuffing it and everything, and I made sure, you know, start pulling and tucking it, it started working so what you see I'm doing here is I'm lining it up to make sure I got the right height and once I get that I go in and just take some of the raffia from the grass skirt 
tie that off around the legs and the arms and then I start stuffing him and I'll let you guys watch that and I'll be back in a second. So guys, this is where I started noticing, I'm like, okay, um, you, you went too far, May. But y'all will see him. I don't think I cut. I think I bring him back. But what I'm doing here is showing you guys that I just cut out some little patches, different colors. Um, I actually used this material in my last video for my pumpkin patch. If you haven't seen that, go check it out, guys. It was a good video. I really love that one, too. And then I took some of the raffia from the grass skirts. Um, grass skirt and um, cut those down for his hands and feet and to put in his pockets as you see here and this is where my little scarecrow got a little thick like he had been eating his Wheaties okay I was like oh you work out huh <laughs> they look like he had muscles y'all <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god I got so tickled when I saw him like you gotta bring it down a notch <laughs> So you are just too husky for a scarecrow. Oh, it's so funny to me, guys. I could not stop laughing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is starting to look like human. <laughs> like, I was just like, what did I create here? So I'm just going with it going with it at this point adding in the patches and what I did on the patches too I don't know if it's going to be visible enough on camera for you guys but with each patch I went in and I put staples around it instead of putting um like stitching I put staples I thought that was just something different and cool um and I really liked it I, I hope it picks up on the camera if not just know that it's there <laughs> and so here I am I'm going to go ahead and attach the hat oh my guys it looks so cute I just think it needed to be a tad bit bigger but at the end of the day I was like I, th I really like this it's so cute it's just so cute oh my gosh you guys you gotta let me know how you feel about it I loved everything today every single one of my projects I love today simple enough fun 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 on top of fun and affordable always affordable and always know guys whenever I show you something if I'm using something different um, or that's not Dollar Tree relate um, a Dollar Tree item it is an equivalent to a Dollar Tree item so you can pretty much find a lot of things I use at Dollar Tree is just that my Dollar Tree does not carry a lot of the good stuff. So what I'm doing here is adding in one of the thicker wood pieces from Dollar Tree and this one I think is 10 inches. And I'm just adding that because I'm going to be adding the base, which I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm not using any um, nails here. And I waited overnight because I wanted to see if this was going to hold up because this, even though it looks heavy, it's not heavy at all. And so I was like, let me see if it's going to hold up. So what I did, guys, was I put it in front of my son's TV while he was sleeping. <laughs> so he got up for work. <laughs> it was standing there. So I texted him. I was like, did my scarecrow scare you? 
And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. He said, I wasn't fully woke yet. So I thought it was a little funny, but <laughs> I didn't think it really would get scared. But anyway, it's pretty tall though. And I put it on the TV stand. So it was like, like right there in your face. <laughs> So next I cut off a corner of one of the patchwork um, fabrics I had and this is just going to be for his scarf around the neck guys and that'll be pretty much for that's it for this part. I'm going to show you some other little things that I add but my camera started dying here so I had to stop it, charge it, bring it, you know all that. So it was getting too lengthy or too long for me to wait. Look how bulky he looks. <laughs> oh my poor scarecrow. <laughs> Oh, poor oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. I toned him down though, guys. I did, I did. And so now I'm going to add in his hair. But I was saying that I used one of the little shovel signs from Dollar Tree. I think it says thankful and blessed on it. And I just added in a wood piece to that to stand next to him. And then for the bottom, I didn't like that his feet was just there. And you can see that wood piece. So I took one of the little miniature um, pumpkin cutouts from... Hobby Lobby covered it with that same fabric that I used for his scarf right here and I just cut that out and put one at the bottom of his feet and it looks like his feet is just kind of resting on there so you guys will see that in the final reveal but guys I want to tell you please set your notification bells for next week okay next week at six o'clock on Friday I have an awesome show for you guys it is gonna be so awesome oh my god i'm so excited about it and i want you guys to be there to share in it it is a dream come true for me and i am so excited but you don't want to miss it i promise you you don't want to miss it so please 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 set your reminders to tune in at six o'clock on friday it's going to be a party y'all just keep that in mind <laughs> all right here's our final reveal guys you guys have to let me know and how you feel about these today. Which one was your favorite? If you had a favorite, if you didn't have a favorite, what else would you like to see from me? You know, what more can I bring you guys to keep you coming back to hang out with me because I love having you here. And if you have stuck around all this time, thank you for taking a ride with me. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much old and new. Every time you guys come back to hang out with me or you decide to click on my channel just to see what I'm about, it makes my heart feel so good. And the comments, some of you guys are so sweet that, you know, you are just saying how much you love me and my content. And I love you guys equally just as much. But look at our scarecrow. I have to stop and say that. Look at our scarecrow. He's still a little buff, but he cute. He cute, though. <laughs> Just like y'all. Y'all are so cute. I love my lovies. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Hitting that like button, the notification bell, and always, always feel free to leave me a comment because I love chatting with you guys. I do try to respond to each one of them because I believe that if you have enough time out of your day to come hang out with me, I can make a little bit of time just to reply back and say thank you. And I appreciate you for coming back to hang out with me or hanging out with me for the first time. Look at our cutting boards, girl. Got girl. See, I was going, girl, it's a girl moment. Girl. <laughs> Look at our, our cutting, not cutting boards. Oh, this mouth, this tongue. Our washboards, guys. It's not an exact match, but I got to say, I'm feeling the Dollar Tree one. I like them both. Don't get me wrong. I like them both. But I'm, I'm like, okay, Dollar Tree, may y'all do something there. Now, it was nothing, you know, unique or fancy about it. It was just a simple, simple um, dupe to the one I did a couple weeks ago. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you drew some inspiration from it. I hope you tried it. If you do try it, let me know. Share with me. My email address is in the description box. I would love to see it. You can also leave me um, a message or picture on Instagram. And I will definitely take a look and I'll give you a shout out. So guys, before we wrap up, fall in love every day. Every day you have an opportunity to open your eyes is an opportunity to fall in love with at least one something that day. So find the good, the joy, the peace and everything you see, say, do or touch. Know that no one is entitled to your joy so don't ever let them steal it from you. It's yours and yours to have only. They are not entitled to it. So with that being 
said, guys, enjoy your three-day weekend. Be safe, be kind. Happy crafting your days away. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Hugs and kisses. XOXO lovies. Bye.